my friends so today we're gonna go keep going on the perfect webinar so yesterday I actually kind of introduced the perfect webinar I've been listening to Russell Brunson for, Russell Brunson for a long time as his expert secrets and I knew about the perfect webinar and actually in yesterday's episode I ended up buying the perfect webinar uh course and the perfect webinar powerpoint and the perfect webinar and you know everything right and I thought that was kind of interesting that I was just looking it up and I found it now obviously there's a there's it's an affiliate program so a few but I I don't have an affiliate link so just go look for it if you want but you know the thing is afterwards yesterday I even tried to do a live on Facebook and I completely messed that up it didn't work at all I ended up with images that didn't move you could hear sound uh and you couldn't see me move and even even when I look at it now the it's it ended up being eight minutes even though it was like live for 30 minutes or even more so I'm not really sure what happened right I don't know it's all messed up but I was trying to teach or not not really teach I was trying to actually have a kind of mastermind with people online that want to do a perfect webinar they want to figure out what it is that is a perfect webinar how do you you know what are the pieces you need and yesterday uh like I said in the lecture yesterday's episode we kind of talked about the three components of the perfect webinar right the introduction the content and then the the close so those are the three three things that you've got to do in your perfect webinar you got to fill these up and today we're going to be talking about the introduction the introduction is a bunch of parts as well but it's part one of the perfect webinar and we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so what is the perfect webinar so if you don't know what the perfect webinar is let me just kind of show you first what this is about um let's see do we have what's the best I guess I can show you this over here let me just go right in here so the perfect webinar is basically this so let's just share the screen so the perfect webinar is basically this right I mean it's it's about creating a framework that sells right because what you want obviously you're you're trying to sell something online you don't you don't you, you don't necessarily well you do you want to teach your best stuff but teaching your best stuff is not going to get you the sale unfortunately and if you've done it before because I've done lots of webinars before I've done a couple of webinars on uh, automation of um, mini chat or, or messenger Facebook messenger using mini chat automation of challenges I've done webinars on even on cryptocurrencies I've done webinars on on building your audience I've done webinars on attraction marketing personal branding I've done webinars on I mean all sorts of different things and and more recently I've been doing webinars on how to grow your audience using omnipresence on social media right I'm actually doing that tonight so if you're if you're listening to this on a Tuesday then tonight at 7 p.m you can actually go watch a webinar that I'm doing and as I'm doing these webinars I'm getting I'm, I'm going to improve them using the perfect webinar formula right now the webinar that I'm doing tonight is not necessarily going to be based on the perfect webinar because it's it, it's a webinar I started a couple of weeks ago and I'm kind of tweaking it now but the perfect webinar is about these three pieces right the introduction introduction right the intro the content and then the the sales or the the close right so today we're going to talk about the intro we're going to talk get more into the intro and kind of and you know I'm just showing you telling you talking to you about this stuff based on what what Russell what I've been listening to I mean if you I've got this perfect webinar thing I actually bought the whole thing it comes with a template here for the the powerpoint there's the perfect webinar secrets there's a workshop video here um and there's a video what is it what how long is this is a an hour 48 minute video and then there's another one right here a bunch of different ones sales funnel Jason's success to Facebook ads 
the dream 100 so I mean he talks about all these different things and if I look at there's a welcome video here and the perfect webinar video one and two which is what I'm going through right now where he talks about all that so I'm not it's not me teaching this or at least it's not me that came up with any of this it's Russell Brunson and Russell Brunson if you go to uh, for example well I mean you've seen see oh yeah so this is me trying to do my live yesterday and look at this basically was my face on the live and it was just like frozen there like that and I was talking about the perfect webinar and I was trying to show the, the you know intro content and kind of trying to get somebody on on there to kind of talk about their perfect webinar. what do they need for a perfect webinar? okay so let's get right into it so if we talk about uh let's see where what uh let me actually just go into my folder here and let's just create a new text document I'm just going to create a new text just a regular text document so this is just going to be called notes okay so what so perfect perfect webinar in perfect webinar part one right so introduction so in your perfect webinar you want to have a, a part of it that's introduction to to the the webinar right it's what obviously you know you know from your 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 you know, uh, English uh, classes 101 where in every single story there's an introduction a content and a conclusion right so there's three parts to every single story and then within each of those parts there's three parts as well so it's kind of like you know introduction is tell them what you're going to tell them content is tell them and then conclusions is tell them what you just told them right so that's the basics of of of, of you know creating written content right creating a book creating a chapter creating a, a story creating an email all this is all based on these three parts right so in the webinar there's three parts introduction content and then conclusion is the sales close right so what is in the introduction as you can see from the the image let's just put the bridge bring the image up and we're just going to go like this so as you can see from the image there's a bold promise so number one is the bold promise right the bold promise so what is that what is the bold promise right it's the ruler that they're going to judge you by when they watch your webinar if they if they feel that what you promised is not what they're interested in they're going to leave and that's kind of the purpose of this when you start your webinar you want to have a promise that says what it is that you're going to be teaching them what they should expect as you know content so I mean it's all about what you know what are you teaching them right what are you going to be teaching them about today right so your bold promise could be something like I'm going to show you how to lose you know 10 pounds in a week without you know, uh, your um, without cutting out carbs um, I'm going to show you how to lose weight by eating fats so it's a and a, and by the end of the warm you're going to know how to do that you're going to actually have an action plan and you're going to be on your way to losing those last 10 pounds you've been trying to lose forever right so that's a bold promise is what is it in my case I'm still trying to word that out we'll see how that goes tonight but you know I'm my bold promise is I want you to be omnipresent I want you to become somebody who's on all the platforms so that you can you can be seen by people everywhere not just on one platform not just on Facebook not just on LinkedIn you want people to see you everywhere and when somebody sees you on one platform they go to the other platform see you there too they know you know what you're talking about that's what I want for you I want you to be omnipresent without having to hire a team of 30 people without having to spend hours and hours every single day creating all the content for all the platforms I want to show you how to do that in minutes a day so that's so the bold promise is something you want to uh you want them to feel they want right if they don't like I said if they don't want it they can leave and that's okay because in the end if they didn't want it they they are not going to be happy at the end anyways so you <laughs> so that's the purpose of that right so that's the bold promise so number one the bold promise so 
okay number two <coughs> is the hook to the to end okay hook to end so what's the hook to the end that's pretty obvious it's something that you want to you want to tell them that will make them want to stay until the end so it can be pretty much anything you could even offer them some money or offer them a gift you know if you stay till the end you'll send you an ipad I mean obviously if you have money to spend you can do that but you really want to you know probably you don't want to spend money you want it to be something that they're going to be interested in so whatever your audience is right whoever they are whatever the webinar is about it's got to be something that they're interested in enough that they're going to be like oh yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna stay till the end I want to see that right so for me in my um syndication or omnipresence webinar I'm probably going to talk about how I'm going to show them the platform and how it's how easy it is to just create to upload a video and then create all the assets you need for all your content right I'm going to show you them how easy it is to do that right so I'm going to show that at the end but only if you stay till the end right so that's my hook to the end so make sure that they stay make sure that they they're excited about seeing that make sure that it's something that they can't get without staying on the webinar and that kind of stuff right so that's probably something I have to work on a little bit because what I just said just now makes me realize that just showing them platform is probably something they can see on a ton of my but I guess it maybe that's okay but anyways that's the hook to the end that's the purpose of that so number three command attention what does that mean right you want to command attention you want them to feel that what you're teaching them is important enough for them to um to you know shut down their Facebook shut down their LinkedIn shut down their Instagram shut down everything and you want to make them realize that they should do that right so how do you command attention right how do you make them want to turn all that off well you can tell them you know that promise I just made that promise about you losing weight that promise about you learning how to get leads that promise about um becoming omnipresent that promise about you know growing your fans that promise about growing your list that promise is only going to happen if you're paying attention because you know if you don't pay attention you're going to miss out on some parts and you're not going to end up learning it properly right so you really need to be paying attention I'm I'm not saying this just because I want your attention I'm saying this because for you if you don't listen you're not going to achieve this goal that we're talking about right this promise that I made is only going to be valid if you pay attention so make sure you shut shut down your phone you know turn off your phone or put it on silent mode put it aside don't don't look at it turn off your Facebook turn off your LinkedIn turn off your Snapchat turn off your TikTok turn off your MySpace Twitter you know turn them all off close all those browser tabs close all those browser windows and pay attention you got to pay attention if you want the, <laughs> if you want to become omnipresent and learn how to do that yourself so that's kind of what the command attention is it's making them realize that they have to pay attention otherwise they're going to miss out right all right so number four is whoops number four is qualify yourself right so qualify yourself now qualify yourself it's it's pretty straightforward it's basically telling them how you are qualified to show them this particular thing you're going to show them right so if you're trying to show them how to lose weight well you probably should have lost weight right so you might want to uh, show them before and after pictures right uh, if you want to show them how to get leads well you got to show them that you have leads that you've been able to produce leads that you've been able to create uh, you know uh, growing your uh, your leads and all that if you want to teach them how to become omnipresent you got to be able to show them that you're omnipresent you're everywhere you're on all these different platforms and you're you're there every single day and you're getting con engagement you're getting results you're getting people connecting you're getting people uh, replying you got to be able to show that happening right so that's qualifying yourself and then of course you can talk about yourself a little bit you know your background where you're from how how all this came to be and tell them about that and that's that's what qualifying yourself is and the very last part of the introduction number five is future pace so future pace what does Russell mean by future pace so he's talking about putting them in the mindset of being 
in, the, in like putting them in the future with the result so you give them make them kind of think about you know how how would you feel I mean imagine uh you know six months from now you're actually creating content every single day you're posting to all the platforms it's it's taking you just a few minutes and it's and you're getting growing your audience you're getting more and more people to your blog you're getting more and more people into your list you're getting more and more people messaging you asking you questions they're reaching out to you because they see you as the expert that's what this will do this you know think about um, um Gary V I mean Gary V he's everywhere but he's got a team of like probably 30 people creating content for him and posting for him on the different platforms right that's something that you can have too without having to hire that team and you can do that starting today right after this webinar we're going to show you how to do that and imagine you having all that in a few weeks a few months depending on how much effort you put into it right I mean that's that's future pacing so future so show them that they'll like you know if you're losing if you're trying to lose weight imagine you know those pants that you've been trying to get into they're you've lost you know four inches or five inch or six inches of waist or whatever and you've lost 20 20 40 pounds and you feel so good you're sleeping better your energy's up you're you're alert you're able to focus more and it's all because you improved your eating habits and because you lost that weight right just imagine yourself like what how are you going to feel walking down the street and your friends seeing you walk by and they're saying oh my god you look so awesome today you look like you you must have lost 50 pounds oh my you you look fantastic how are you feeling and you're like all lighting up and you're feeling so uh, so excited that people are noticing right so that's future pacing putting them in the future with your result um you know at achieved right so that's future pacing all right so that's the basics of the introduction right I mean I I can I can probably go on and you know get into a little bit more of the 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 rest here the content right is the one thing the secrets and then the closes and the stack these are all part of the conclusion part of the like the stack is uh you know we're going to get into that in the next episode we're going to get into the content talk more about that because I'm actually going to be doing my webinar tonight so I'm going to probably have to uh, work on it myself but you know the thing is that the perfect webinar is not about you know uh anything in particular it's it's more it's a it's a framework right and when we look at uh, the other stuff so Russell also has where is that he also talks about a perfect he also talks about a perfect funnel right so the perfect funnel is the, how often you do the webinar also the the emails you send out the indoctrination emails and then uh, he actually talks about doing an encore webinar so doing it twice a week instead of once a week which uh, you know I don't know if I'm gonna get there but right now I'm kind of planning on doing it once a week according to the um to the to the uh, expert secrets book he talks about doing it once a week for a year right and doing the same webinar improving your your reach connecting getting more people to attend getting new people to attend he talks about ads of course and creating ads to, to this and then having a having a um a funnel the ad goes to a funnel making sure the content and the text is uh, is congruent I mean there's a lot of stuff that you gotta you know be um, um doing the right way right so actually I mean, let me just kind of show you there's parts here that is that not all oh, right I gotta do this just because so you can see the whole thing <clears throat> yeah so the perfect webinar I guess that's yeah so I mean uh you know he's got these other he's got this whole process around the perfect webinar where he has the replay he's replay plus gift now I gotta I haven't listened to the the training yet I gotta go through it I kind of started it a little bit but he talks about how to do this you know this way right the the way of you schedule your webinar every single week at the same time 
you send out um, promotional emails to your list to get them onto your webinar and but the, but also you do uh, advertising right you got these advertising pieces that you promote on Monday Tuesday Wednesday right maybe maybe different ads I'm not sure I, I have to look into it what's possible but the idea is that you end up doing this every single week the same way now he's like I said he's got two webinars here Wednesday and Friday instead of being just on a Thursday or in my case I'm going to be doing them Tuesdays I'm not sure how I know Tuesday is probably not a the, apparently Wednesdays is Thursdays is the better day for webinars but I'm assuming that well hoping that it, it won't matter that much <coughs> but but uh but the point is that you're you're sending out these emails to remind people you're doing ads to remind people or to get people onto the registration and then you know in any any webinar the number it's a numbers game right so how many people see the landing page and how many people register and how many people actually attend and then how many people stay till the end all these numbers affect whether you get sales or not right <clears throat> and and uh and that's kind of what you gotta you that's why you gotta do it every single week to get these things improved to get the numbers better to get to a point where you have a uh how can I put this you know where you have a um <clears throat> a, a a an improvement on all these numbers like say for example you you have a hundred people that you send to the landing page right you got a hundred people you send to the landing page and uh you know let's just let's just let's just put numbers here let's just do that just for the fun of it so so for example so say say we have 100 people going to landing page right so say we have 100 people going to landing page with 20 percent sign up that's 20 people so that's 20 people <coughs> signing up right so let's say you have 20 people signing up let's and then with 50 percent show up that's 10 people on the live right so that's 10 people on the live on the live then with 50 percent to end that's five people who stay till the end right and then let's say with 10 percent sale well let's say let's give it let's give it 20 20 percent sales that's one sale right okay so that's kind of what probably typical numbers are like right what if you were to increase well first you can increase how many people go to landing page right you'll get more people to the landing page and if all these numbers stay the same you'll increase all each of the numbers right but what if you increase this to 30 percent or what if you increase this to 60 percent you know what if you increase these different things and that's the purpose of the perfect webinar perfect funnel process you want to increase the number of people that actually sign up to the webinar out of the people that see the landing page so you got to have a better landing page right and then the indoctrination emails are meant to increase the number of people that actually show up instead of if you were able to get like a 70 percent show up rate right that would be uh 20 that, so if I was to increase to 70 <clears throat> that would be what 15 15 people instead I think 70 say 75 percent that would be 15 people right so if they're still if they're showing up 15 people instead and it's still 50 percent that means you'd have you'd end up having you know eight people stay till the end right and then you might get well you wouldn't get two sales out of eight but like you know what I mean like these numbers are what controls everything so the better you get at making these numbers you know increase the better your results are going to be and that's part that's why you do these webinars every single week for a year so that you get better at all these different things and and you've got to be doing that right I mean like you can't just keep doing the webinar every week and not change anything right because if you don't change anything it's never going to get better right other than you maybe getting a little bit better at at talking getting better at at <clears throat> at explaining that's great but if you don't tweak your actual presentation 
right your actual content your actual order of sequence and like I said in in the in the perfect webinar there's there's all these different things right there's this there's the content the one thing what is that you know breaking and rebuild a belief pattern what does he mean by that and then the closes right the stack and the closes what does that mean how do you do that and that's that's going to be part of like I said the next episodes we're going to be doing that but yeah so I mean it's all numbers just increase your numbers and keep improving and keep changing so you got to be okay so as you grow your webinar as you redo it every week you need to be doing things like you know improving the landing page you got to improve the landing page you got to be improving the indoctrination emails or industry indoctrination pages that you send them to in the in the few days before the webinar right you got to improve your ads or your emails to your list and it's got to be all congruent right like me I'm actually not a super um I know it's good what I have and it was it was something done um using a, a particular uh perception or mindset of what is being taught um but that needs to be improved that can all it, it can always be improved it can always be better you got to focus on what and that's one of the things that Russell talks about the one thing right you got to have a focus on what it is what's the one thing and we're going to get into that like I said tomorrow but you know that once you define that once you know exactly what that is that's that's what you know it's going to be that's what it's going to be right I mean the 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 webinar the perfect webinar let's just what's going on here oh yeah look at that <laughs> so the perfect webinar is one of those things that you can do to improve your webinars and <laughs> and if you do it every single week for a year you're going to get to a point where you're going to have the perfect webinar too right but this is the framework the framework to the perfect webinar you know is is all about where is this right here right the perfect webinar the perfect webinar is in your reach you just got to know how to put the comment what is your bold promise what's your hope to the end what's your how do you command attention how do you qualify yourself and how do you future pace the content and the the the, the things and then we're going to talk about the rest in another episode all right so hopefully you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the webinar tonight hopefully and in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.